Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of the B2B Outbound Marketing and Sales Automations. By now, you know my name, Dan Chudimkov, of course, and you know that I put a lot of effort to finding the best automation tools out there in order to, to share it with you guys. And guess what? I found one, and it's called Limbo.io. And I'm actually having Neville David here on, on the podcast, who is actually a digital nomad traveling around the world from Israel originally, if I understand it good, currently in Thailand, which I would love to be instead of being in Skopje. But I would love him to show us a bit more about. So Nevo, welcome to the show. <laughs> Thank you very much for having me. Uh, before we start introducing into yourself, I was just amazed by the, the logo that you have. You have like a uh, lizard and Linvo. I, my first thought was that Linvo comes from LinkedIn. So can you tell me how, how did you actually came up with the name? Yeah, I'll tell you actually about the name and also about the logo itself. So mm -hmm. um, the name is actually kind of funny because um, this is nothing connected to LinkedIn. Um, when I was young, like 13, I had um, a, a forum. Back then there, was, there were forums before uh, Facebook groups. <laughs> and uh, I had a partner with me. His name was Lior. So we kind of created like a, together this name Linvo and Lior, uh, Nevo and Lior, and we created Linvo. And I stuck with this name for many different businesses. Uh, but uh, after that, when I reached Linvo, that's where it end, ended. So. Linvo is the, the name for this. And uh, the logo of the lizard, we try, we try to create something that will attract people to remember our brand. Uh, that was like the most important thing for us. So we, if, you know, we put some few variation. I like the old game. If somebody know, it's called Jax. It's a very old game of, of a lizard. So we took this one, we had purple color. We did a lot of animation and we came up with something that it's very hard for people to forget. <laughs> So, uh. <laughs> no, but that's actually marketing can sell. So, Bees Bees Solution, the company that I own, is based on business bees. So, we have like a different bees with, with different characters in order to, to make a memorable brand, something that people will remember, remember in the future. And yeah. well, I was also curious on about you. I mean, one correction you started when when i was young at 13. we're still young men come on uh, it's like <laughs> then now we say when i was young and naive now i'm only young <laughs> no longer naive at least but actually was... it's uh young and beautiful and now i'm only beautiful <laughs> <laughs> i'm not going into that direction i would rather stay young <laughs> but no i was actually curious uh, about your journey because it's not like you just woke up one day and you had an automation at your hand. Uh, if you could just give us some background about you so the audience would get a better understanding on, on who you are and how you actually got to, to where you are now. Yeah, for sure. I would love to. Um, basically, I was, um, I'm a developer. Like for the last decade, I'm a developer. I was never an, entre an entrepreneur. Um, I was building a lot of system. I was working for so many companies. Um, and then I became like a digital nomad, um, as you, as you mentioned before, and I started to work less hours and I, I realized I have a lot of free time and, um, it's kind of, it's kind of weird to think like, okay, you have a free time, go enjoy your digital nomad, go traveling. But, but, you know, this is something that a lot of entrepreneurs have that when they have a lot of uh, time, they start to do stuff. They are not traveling. They start to build stuff. <laughs> this is what they do. Strategic stuff when you're not in a rush. <laughs> Yeah. And I started to see how I can promote myself over um, any social media. LinkedIn was a good thing for me. Um, and what I did actually was the first thing that I did for Linvo back then, it was, it looked totally different, was actually try to create for me some kind of like engagement platform where um, I can just, you know, find out because today, yes, you have this feature that you know when somebody posted something, but I wanted to find out when somebody is posting something so I can be the first to answer, to get the traction, to get the comments. And 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 after I did like a few basic feature of this, I just posted it out, started to get a little amount of traffic from people, but they started to ask me, can I do like connecting with people? No, but I can, I can edit. <laughs> and then it's, <laughs> this is how it started. I started to add the basic features. I started to add a lot of basic features of uh, adding connection requests, like you can see in all, all the other automation tools, a follow-up message. It was actually going um, pretty good. 
Um, and then I, um, I had a, a co-founder um, and he told me, listen, like, th that's nice what we are doing right now, but it's not special. Like Everybody all the other ones are doing it. Like, okay, you had another feature. Okay, what's the marketing edge? What is the differentiation? And yeah, this is where we start to, we put all the system literally to the trash and we built something completely new that I would love to tell you about. <laughs> nice, nice. And um, Nevo, I mean, uh, that's interesting because usually when I talk with people is whether they come from a sales background or whether they come from a tech background, they're bringing their experience with them. The, the previous recording that we did with, was with a data guy so he had his data background, like for me, everything is data oriented. And I was curious, I mean, the, the Linvo, how is it currently positioned on the market? Because you had, you said you've scratched it from, you drop everything that you had and you started from scratch. So how did you actually are now positioned on the market? Is it a expensive service premium one? Is it a affordable so more people can use it? Or do you have some unique features that make you kind of special out there in the market? Yeah. That, that's a very good question. Thank you for asking. Um, so I said that I brought in a co-founder and this was a very important step for me because I'm a technical person. Like I like to build stuff and I built in many different niches all the time, but I needed somebody that knew what to do, like knew in terms of business because he was doing this same thing inside his own company, but not with any automation tool that you have in the market right now. They use, uh, if you know, Phantom Buster, they yep. use it because they give an API and they created something of their own. And um, he started to tell me a lot of stuff and we, we were we were checking it out and there was nothing like that. It was really something different. And um, and and for the other question, who are we targeting? So we have, um, we are kind of like the mid price. We are not cheap as LinkedIn helper, but, but we are not as, exp uh, as expensive as Zopto. We're not enterprise uh, solution. We are uh, kind of in the middle. And um, we attract both um, bottom-up users that come and register. Um, and also we have, um, um, we, work, we are working with a lot of agencies and they are like our main target audience. We also have some different uh, kind of affiliation with uh, other companies uh, with our system that they use as kind of a white labeling for their system to bring customer insights. Um, yeah, and as for the features, and I'm going to take you back like, Two years ago on, on LinkedIn, <laughs> so I don't remember, but two years ago, I think life on LinkedIn looked a little, looked a little bit different. Like if you wanted to do automation, go ahead, put your, I don't know, 150, 180 connection per day. Um, 2000 per yeah. month. <laughs> get a lot of connection, get a lot of, um, um, you know, um, you, you can finish the week with more than, uh, you know, 1000 and something connection requests sent. And um, life was pretty much nice. I mean, it was okay. People still get bored, but it was pretty much nice. And then LinkedIn suddenly say, listen, we are not going to let you do it anymore. You're, we're going to restrict you. And it was this restriction of like 20 profiles, between 20, and now it's like between 20 to 40, depends on the profile. But, you know, you're like an agency and you have your customer and you come to your customer and you say, listen, I'm going to give you this amount of leads every week or month. And now what's going on? You can't. How do you solve this problem? We so. we got the same problem, Nevo. Sorry for interrupting you because as an agency, that was April last year. April last year, LinkedIn put some, some hard limitation because before that you could do more than 2000 outreaches per month. And then they limited to a hundred per week. So like from 2000 per month, we dropped down to 400 per month. But you know, that's throw away a lot of spammy behaviors on LinkedIn and the people that continue with good quality actually focused more on, on the quality. And yeah, it was a tough period explaining to the client, well, you know what, no more 2000. Now we have to do 400. Yeah, but but you can still agree that people are still looking for ways to do more. Like, True. you know, there's like an email kind of way to connect with people. And there is um, um, some hidden API option that is really risky, but like LinkedIn uh, helper offering. So we will still still try to somehow increase that because honestly, you can't, you don't have even enough data to check if what you're doing is good if you're just sending like 20 connections per day. You know, if you send 20 until you, you know if they accepted you or not, it, it takes time. Um, 
And we thought to ourselves, okay, how can we solve this? But how can we solve it as a real solution? Not I will find a way to connect with email and tomorrow they will block me and not how I will find a, some hidden API way to, to do it. And also we were thinking like agency mind, like I'm not a single user is trying to automate, get some lead. We are an agency. We need to get a lot of leads. We need to crack this thing. It was like our, what we actually wanted to do. And then what we realized, and we saw it a lot is that we, back then we had a platform. It was the first platform and people said, uh, listen, um, we want to buy 40 subscriptions, not 140. And I asked, okay. What do you mean? So we have a lot of um, avatars or employees of the company that we want to automate <laughs> or fake profiles, <laughs> fake profile, yeah, avatars. And, um, and I, I, I said, okay, sounds good. And then I was like, okay, but, but you have 40 now, how are you going to manage 40 avatars? And then it's like, it struck us. Because we said there's like 40 avatars and every time you need to change, because this is what you have in every platform, you need to change user to, in order yeah. to use the different avatar, the different inbox and stuff. And some people scale even more, scale to hundreds, they scale to more. How do you actually manage that? It, it, it becomes harder. Um, and this is like why we also mostly targeting agencies because we know that this is what they are doing. Yeah. So we said, accounts. exactly. So we said, okay. Let's do something crazy that nobody do. But in order to do that, we have to completely destroy the previous system because the architecture will not allow us to do this. So we destroyed the previous system. The previous system is like what every LinkedIn, I guess this is something that every founder in every LinkedIn automation uh, experience, they start their platform with a one account. And then they realize many people want more, more accounts. So they let, <laughs> they gave them an option to do a switch account and to switch between the accounts. Um, it's something like almost every founder get but it's not good enough. So what we did, we dropped it and we created a way that you can create campaigns with multiple profiles, not just one. And it's like the, the main thing of the system. Like you can take, for example, one user, this user has sales navigator. The user will get you all the leads from sales navigator. And this user will send leads to 100 profile later. And all of them will start to take different leads, connect with them. And you will have a one inbox where you have all your leads, all your in all your messages together without switching accounts, without looking different inboxes <laughs> in one place. Um, and, and that was like the main goal for us, because we can we understand that people want to scale in the end. They don't want to stay with one. And in the future, we also say, OK, buy another avatar, edit your campaign, just add the avatar. Boom. In one second, you scaled. You don't need to create a new campaign. So you do actually, a new user. Just to make sure that if I understood you, uh, the goal here is that that's why you're targeting agencies because they have multiple accounts. Because if you're targeting an individual, well, he has one profile and that's it. But you're actually merging multiple profiles into a single profile with single inbox, with single campaign. And then you can just add more and more and more profiles into the campaign, right? Right. You can add as many profiles as you want and do as many follow-ups as you want. Of course, we have all the basic um, uh, things like likes, follow-ups, endorsement, and so on. But you only need to create, okay, you can create multiple campaigns, obviously, if you want to A-B test and stuff, but you can just create one campaign and it's very simple. You don't need to switch. You don't need to edit every time, duplicate campaigns, check different inboxes. That's it. It's all in one place. Um, and I think, I think this is something that is good because when you do it and you stay within the LinkedIn limitation, then you kind of, you, you play the game, you play by the rules and you yeah. get less restriction. It's more fluently um, and so on. And that, that's the main but goal. You don't want to, to build up your profile and then just being blocked by LinkedIn for some reason that you're abusing yeah. terms. I was contacted by the CEO like that. He told me, listen, uh, I saw your solution. This is exactly for me because I have a lot of powerful people on LinkedIn. I can't automate their account. They can get blocked. Okay. Let me show me how I can do it with avatars. And I will direct all of the messages, all of the meeting schedule to this direct person in the end. Mm, nice. Um, and Nevo, I'm curious, uh, doesn't LinkedIn ask for like personal ID or, or profile verification on the avatars? 
Yeah, so you know, this is kind of the thing that we we this is also part of the training that we provide. We sell avatars. So people can come to us and say, listen, I want to buy an avatar. We give you a, like an avatar with 500 plus connection already. And that's it. You just need ready, to connect to the system. Ready to plug and play. That's yeah, and an interesting business, growing avatars and then selling. I mean, I know that in the gaming world, World of Warcraft, you start a hero, you build it to 60 level or whatever it was, and then you just sell it so people can play it. So that's similar with LinkedIn. You're building a profile up to more than 500, and then you sell it. And it's hard because before we used to buy profiles um, of, and, and it didn't work so well for us, of bots. What do I mean by bot? You create a profile, like 20 bots profile, and each one of them is sending connection to each other. And then you grow up to, you know, like the 500 connection requests. But the problem with it is that you get blocked very fast from that because it's like a circle. They find few and they block the entire connection. So we actually find a lot of supplier and they don't sell us like 100 profiles every time. It's like two here, three here of real profile that's growing from the start. Uh, with real connect with real activity and likes and <laughs> and posting no, no, no. human human interaction human e and Nevo, i'm actually curious to to see what you can what kind of magics you can do with your software so if you don't mind would it be possible to just share your screen and, and show us what kind of features and how it actually works from the inside yeah absolutely so um this is the dashboard as you can see i already added some profiles here uh before Mm -hmm. And it's very simple, as I said before. All you need to do is to go to a workflow, um, let it load, create a new work workflow. And now all I'm doing is a few basic steps. First of all, I need to select the account that I want to do the scraping, right? Because I need to take the leads from LinkedIn. And here you can play with it. You can take the profile that has the um, sales navigator account. And this is nice because a sales navigator account can send, can send leads to accounts without sales navigator. So you can choose the sales navigator account or you can choose a simple account. Um, so you actually have works. one sales navigator and the others don't need to have the sales navigator. Yeah, exactly. You're utilizing exactly. You can have only one. <laughs> and I think this is what most people do. Uh, anyway, um, now I go back go to LinkedIn. And this is like very straightforward. I guess the people that are already watching did something like that before. They kind of know this kind of process of the going filters. and taking. Yes. Um, so I just go in here to people. I'll just copy this without any filters, but this is like the first step. And yep. I put the URL here and very, very basic, very, very simple. Here comes the tricky part because you can put the next step. I can put the connect message here. And in the connect message, I can choose multiple profiles and not only one. Now, so. I add all the profile that I want here. Mm -hmm. And now it's very easy because this profile will connect with all these profiles together, like send the leads to all these profiles. So, you know, super simple, use the template library or add another. But, but uh, that doesn't mean that the lead will get six invitations, right? No, absolutely. This is the, the thing that we, we try to avoid. I have to check. <laughs> Actually, it's kind of funny. I got an email, it's crazy, from five people lately, all have the same messages, different avatars. It was not on LinkedIn. <laughs> this thing you don't want to, you don't want it to happen to you. Um, once you added the connect message, you add a follow up message. Now the follow up message, you can play with it a little bit better. So we have a few things here that you, you can also add. Obviously, uh, I think a lot of system support is today. We have the personalized image, which where you can take um, like an image already with some tags that will change to the prospect information. Um, yeah. So I, I think. Other system also support that. Here is your votes um, and, and so on. There's many, or you can just use a GIF um, and put it inside a message. And then you can keep on, you know, doing another yeah, follow up, steps, with other steps, steps and, and so on. Um, yeah. And once you save that, it will work in a loop like every other uh, profile. You can set all your how many requests per day, how many um, minimum um, maximum messages per day. Uh, there's also a warm up mode because if you add some avatars, you probably want um, you want them to not to send more than one when you start. Yeah. Then we have this feature and this feature, sorry, this one, that's random engagement. And this one, everybody said to us like, this is crazy. And I'll tell <laughs> you about this. <laughs> um, but just before that, I want to show you also, you know, you have the uh, update time zone so you can, you know, say what time the profile will work the outreach yeah it's kind of like the same and also we have here the um 
the LinkedIn account view because you don't want to log into every LinkedIn account if you want to log in. So you can click on the view um, and you will get on the screen uh, the profile that um, connected to LinkedIn. You see, it's like a share screen of the profile itself. So you can play with if you have 100 profile and you want to check, you can just click on the button. It connects with the proxy itself. It's not just connecting uh, like on a random IP. It's through the proxy. It's totally um, um, clickable. You can, you can go between the pages. So it's nice. And of course, as I said, there is an inbox here with all the profiles together uh, where you can just write here the messages and it will send exactly in the time zone, not just when you send it and you can play with a different profile and you can also filter it. Now, let me go back to what I said was <laughs> really crazy. And I didn't expect it will be that much crazy. We have the random engagement feature. And this is really cool because when you have 40 profiles, you would probably use them as bots most of the time. And bots, they do one thing. They connect and they follow up and they connect and they follow up. They behave and, on exactly predictable way. Yes. And this is the easiest way to get blocked usually. And this is why we created this random engagement because what this does, it goes through your LinkedIn all the time, um, give random likes on posts over the page and also write very random comments when it's like a post with many, many uh, likes, like um, great, amazing, um, um, amazing post and so on. So it also, what was funny about this feature is that people used it for their pr personal profile and they started to get a lot of con inbound connection requests <laughs> to their profile. So it's something I didn't expect um, when I did that. So yeah, we, we try to keep you as safe as possible. Also, when you create a new um, account, when you add it to the system, it will ask you on which country you are and it will create a proxy for you in that appropriate country. So it will keep you as safe as possible. Um, yeah, that that's probably nice. it, I think. Nice. So I know that the whole plan that you're currently having is for scaling LinkedIn with multiple profiles without the hassle of shuffling between different 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 profiles actually logging out logging in a different one and then hustling the conversation among multiple multiple chats yeah exactly that that's actually sounds interesting i should actually have a look at it because i think we have uh last year we did a laboratory to put it in that way where we had seven avatars and we were doing agency tests so uh, we put one in the Middle East, another in Canada, another in the US, in the Dach region. Um, so really different profiles. And we were testing what would be acceptance rate if you sent a blank message, if you sent a hi, I would like to connect, or if you pitch on the invitation. And we run it for like six months through multiple profiles in order to, to measure. And this is something that I wish I knew it because seven profiles, exactly the same problem logging in logging out trying to see which profile is where and what kind of messages so that could be really a nice solution in this case yeah and, and um in general when you use um, multiple profiles you will wouldn't want to connect with the same people in multiple like we said before so this is another project because you need first to scrape the lead in some place and then split it in multiple csvs and then load it to each profile and when you want to add another csv that's when it's becoming problematic because you need to figure out not to give them the same connection so and yeah. try not to make mistakes along the way <laughs> was my <laughs> and Nevo, exactly. i was also curious to talk about the partnership opportunities that you have with the limbo so if you can share me some information about that, because I saw you have some affiliate on your website and for the listeners, what kind of partnership opportunities do you have with Limbo? Yeah, awesome. Thank you for asking. So um, we have the um, basic affiliate, of course, that you um, bring somebody to the system um, through the affiliate link and you get forever um, commission every month, 30% uh, commission for each uh, user that you bring. Um, and we also open to our different partnerships, such as um, more of um, if if you have, um, we are working now with different kind of companies. They are like agencies, company for agencies. So they want to provide tools to other agencies. So they have Linvo as part of their system. So we gave them Linvo and they have single sign-on and so directly to Linvo for all the customers. So if somebody is interesting and they have a lot, they want to work with different agencies or stuff like that, that's also a great opportunity. Nice. Um, yeah. Nice. And um, 
Nevo, I was also curious. I mean, 2023 is around the corner. So I was curious to, to ask you, where is this story headed? I mean, where do you see Limbo in the future, whether it's more into adding multiple channels or sticking to LinkedIn, but adding more into the depth of LinkedIn? Um, I'm a very technical person, um, as, you, as I probably manage, uh, mentioned before. I like to say more feature, like everybody else said, like, okay, we will add it in, into emails, we will add it into uh, Twitter, <laughs> we'll add more feature as group. But what we want to do is to create a new technology. And I know it sounds bizarre, I know it sounds crazy, but we want to use the actual natural language processor in order to automate your work. And not just, instead of you writing the message, there will be kind of like a gong uh, that will write your messages for you. Uh, and understand what is best to write. So we will transfer all your work directly to the bot in the end. That's a big kind of uh, <laughs> initiative. Role. No, but people started making <laughs> some progress there. There are some tools now that they screen your LinkedIn profile. And based on that, they're making like a conversation starters that are added into the sequence in parallel. But, uh, you know, still kind of we're few years back with with this i mean i remember six seven years when we did outreach there was no automation so we had to manually collect the, the leads and manually add them to spreadsheets and then do manual outreach but we'll, we'll probably get there soon enough never yeah you know and today with all this um gpt3 and now we have um dali 2 for for pictures and stability diffusion for pictures things becoming crazier and crazier all the engines are becoming crazier soon it's soon it will always it will only be machine talking to machine you know even the prospect that you turn to <laughs> is a machine talking to the other machine so you know. when two um, machines get into an argument i would love to see the transcript of that too. one <laughs> but <laughs> me too. Uh, Nevo, we are actually reaching to, to the end of, of this show. Um, I wanted to, to give you just the opportunity for people that are interested in, in trying out Limvo just to see whether it, it can fit their needs, um, where they can actually find it. Can you give me a bit on the on the, where is the website? Do you have any free trial or something that they yeah. can do? For sure. So we have um, a free trial, obviously. Um, I don't. I don't believe today we're not giving a value before. I think it's uh, it, it's already dead unless you're an enterprise-based uh, software. Uh, but as a bottom-up, yes, you can sign up for um, a four days trial. But if it's not enough for you, you can always uh, reach customer support. Tell them, listen, I didn't have any enough time to test the trial. We are very generous with this kind of thing. You can get more trial, try the system more. Um, and yeah, try it out, you know, and, and the good thing, and this is something that we took on us, I think, um, is that we also give you your own proxy on trial. And this is something that cost us a lot of money, but we still yeah. provide it on the trial. So you can get proxy anywhere in the wall, just in the trial. So that's why you're in a rush. If you plan on continuing, do let me know so we can put it on a more permanent level. But I, I really appreciate this conversation, Nevo, because, I mean, that's the whole point, ex exploring the possibilities with uh, with the tools that you have with the Limvo and how it can be used. So I really wanted to thank you for coming on the show and for everybody out there. Well, there's going to be a link somewhere just where people can come to Limvo, uh, Limvo.io, I think it was. Give it a try, see if it's a good tool for you to your specific needs, especially we saw the USB here is that if you're planning on using multiple avatars on LinkedIn, that that would be a perfect fit for for this solution. Um, Nevo, I really appreciate you coming on the show and thank you very much. Thank you for having me. Yes, and with this, we are actually closing this this podcast and for everybody out there, we stayed in tune with the new tools that we are actually trying to explore. And of course, give it a try and hopefully you liked it. Cheers.